I'm sure you, like me, missed a lot of move on stock market that you would say, what if I could see this move prior to that move to happen? Or what if I could get to the stock that is going to run 100% or 50% or 200%? So uh, that's why I'm making this video. I'm hoping that helps for people who are looking for that kind of a strategy and uh, hopefully that becomes helpful as well. So in this video, I'm going to use this scanner and use the website that definitely is going to help you to catch those moves prior to happen. So let's jump right into it. So for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Matthew and welcome to my channel and I mostly talk about stock market and trading in my video and also helping people who are having difficulty to understand the stock market as well as using a chart and some software. I do uh, make some video every week or so and I'm hoping that video also is uh, valuable to you it from this and make sure just uh, watch the video to the end subscribe and share the video that would help a lot with the algorithm so i am now on a website i'm sure most people or you guys heard of it it's called finbiz finbiz.com it's a free website that i guess have all the details and tools that any trader would need especially for beginners so you don't have to have a sophisticated paid uh, software or a scanner so i love this uh, website because it has everything the other software offers and of course it comes to uh you know the basic and more i guess uh, complicated screener and features that we don't get to that now but I'm just using a free account now or even without having an account you can use that strategy that I'm going to share with you. So we are on Finbiz here. My first go to every time I come to Finbiz is going to to the map heat or heat map. So what it shows me every morning. So <clears throat> here is the heat map as you can see today which is uh, November 10th 2023 the market is showing a pretty strong uh, movement on uh, technology as usual and if you can see all the sectors are in green which indicates market sentiment it's in bullish run or basically in you know, up uh, upwards or uptrend so uh, depending on what kind of stock you are trading uh, you can have a look, see which which one has the biggest percentage move or gain, and you can choose from. But what today's topic is not about uh, looking at the uh, map for taking a position. I'm going to just share with you how we can use this uh, website for finding a stock that has uh, potential. Remember, my uh, point here is nobody knows what's going to happen. I always, always do your due diligence and risk management. So we want to make sure we are not jumping into something that uh, we lose more than we can afford. So my point is always get uh, the position and have risk management, which is a stop loss. And so here is what we see when you uh, click on the screener. But um, we want to do some changes here to get those that we really want to find the stocks that are uh, start to move or it's about to move or reverse 
on an uptrend but you can do this for downtrend too but i don't want to confuse you guys i'm just going to click on the tab at here it says all that way we have all here so <clears throat> i first want to make sure i am using the stock that is in us exchange so us country which is the us stocks I don't want to deal with the stuff in overseas or other countries because we don't follow their news we don't know what's going on to be safe because we are in North America we want to just make sure we uh, basically rule out that you know that news that we don't know about so here is what we do I chose country as a uh, USA and the main part is uh, we want to find a stock that are oversold so oversold meaning it's been uh, it's been selling for a while and um, it's about to reverse hopefully so the oversold option here in RSI 14 this is the options you have because we want to get the oversold one so we want to go on oversold and choose oversold 30 so as you can see uh, we do have oversold option but this is a lot of list like, as you can see there's tons of them like it's almost 17 pages. so we want to narrow it down so the other thing is when the stock is oversold it doesn't mean it's uh, it's gonna stop it could go more oversold over 30 let's say if I choose 40 so that's probably giving me again a lot of stock that are oversold depending on the market sentiment but I would choose 30 because we want to see those stock that is in the territory or getting in the territory of of oversold and what we want to do is uh, actually oversold also 10 or 20 would be basically they are more deep into oversold territory and of course if you go 10 then you are you get to see that stock has been really oversold if you look at the chart here i just giving you example look at how oversold in a daily chart is this is the bottom has ever been right but that's where we have to use other uh basically other filter to bring us what we want to trade so we go back to 30 okay and now we are going to change another value here short float as you can see here on the second column short float we want to look for the short float short float percentage means how much this uh, stock it's been shorted by either institution or retail trader so we want to go on the highest one over 30 percent over shorted meaning this stock has been shorted for a while and there is a lot of people who shorted it and remember once things are shorted then if any news comes up this short heart has to or have to cover and in order to cover they have to buy a stock which means brings volume and then the price change so as you can see by doing this we got rid of hundreds of pages or stocks that we don't want to look at because they are not in that criteria so these are the stock that has been going down and they are on RSI oversold oversold 30 but also the 30 percent of them are short which means a lot of traders or institutes has shorted this stock so but how do we know if this stock is about to move well, as I said, nobody knows. But let's see if today, if this stock is going up today, which is today. Remember, we don't want to anticipate anything. We want to make sure we are catching on the movement or the time that the reverse is going to happen. So if it's up today, meaning today it's upwards, right? And this is why we use the pro firm performance on today's up so now we have one stock that has gone up for first day so this is what we see as you can see we have the fsr which is a fisker one of the ev uh, uh, automobile 
and uh, it's been shorted for a very long time and we can see it on the daily and weekly and monthly uh, chart it's been really beat up and it's time to uh, move up so as you can see the candle is showing a hammer or a pin which is uh, one of the uh, candle that indicating bullish uh, bullish movement and so, uh, as you can see this is the uh, candle that is showing as a hammer or pin and uh, as long as that pin is holding for a daily chart we should be safe and it's happening here we are in a bullish sort of move in a daily chart as long as we are staying above the bottom of the wick so uh, again uh, i like to look at it as a daily chart so and uh, in a weekly chart you can see we don't see any reference yet we'll be looking at this on monday and at least the movement for this move i am estimating to 5 or 488 or 90 so i think that's a good move i will actually uh definitely i should say look at this on monday today's friday market just closed and uh, yeah that would be one of the candidates so let's go see what else we have if we narrow down more of our uh, scanner so another way to find a stock that is actually it's a good candidate make sure you can go to uh, market cap i personally don't care about micro or nano because these are the very small uh, market cap and it can be manipulated you want to start at least with small cap at the beginning so small cap fsr is one of them so and then you choose if we go uh, look at this let's move to 30% to 20% see what we get we get more right so small cap and before that we were on 30 we were getting that many almost seven uh, so we don't want to talk or oh, actually we don't want to look at the one that is a smaller market cap because of manipulation so we go small and then let's do the mid cap we have nothing and of course i don't think large cap can be or is that oversold so our best uh, candidate would be fsr of course if you go to micro you probably get more but these are the manipulated side i mean stocks i definitely stay away from that i have been burnt before and of course if you go nano you get uh, you get those too but as you can see we v work has been really beating up for the past who knows and of course always look at uh, one thing i want to show you guys when you are looking at the stock and you don't understand i seen a lot of people talking about oh this stock has been uh 92 dollar now is 80 cent it should be at least going up soon or half of the move we can see it it can go to 40 50 or 30 no this number here this 90 this stock never never been 90 right why because it's been a split how many split one to 40 every time you want to find out why this stock is that or used to be that high always look at this split on september 5th 2023 this stock v work has been reverse split 1 to 40. what does that mean 1 to 40 means they split the stock one share to 40. okay when the stock gets 1 to 40 that means this is stock i can bring a cal calculator that means this is stock 93 was the highest right divide 40 so that means this stock here was two dollar 32 
this is stuck this number avoid the 90 forget about the 90 this stock was two dollar thirty two at this time okay and then of course it's got split and down I mean it got uh, shorted that low and now it's been like 80 cent so that's why we see the stock is showing such a high number but that that's not the case I just wanted to you know point that out so anyway regardless let's go back to our uh, our filter and this is where I was and FSR uh, it's the um, let's see what is the market cap first of all the market cap is 1 billion which is you know it's pretty good I always wanted to trade a stock that is at least half a billion or 500 million and also well, obviously this stock is losing money right the income is half a billion loss but we don't care about this now the only thing we are looking at is a technical now okay we are looking at the technical part of this stock I don't care about fundamental but what it means here is this stock has a short float ratio of 43 percent okay so and short interest of 83 million so this stock has 83 million short and also is 43 percent so this has a better candidate for reverse but we don't just take that we only look at our risk risk and rewards so here 370 would be our stop and uh, the rest is going to be our our uh, movement so where are we expecting the stock to move as you can see here it's a resistant right on four hundred four dollar twenty nine cent resistant so if we catch this and we can move up to here first we have ten cent stop but going up to four dollar twenty five cent or four dollar twenty cent let's say that's one of the way you can use the scanner or screen and in this case finbase every i guess platform use different name but screen it to find and identify your stock based on what you're trading so i am using the chart of toss or uh fsr let's go in our platform and see what are we looking at as you can see 368 was the low today right and yesterday also 369 was the low this stock is creating or is showing a very nice area of support in this area it is very easy to trade this stock because now we know where the bottom is at least time being we don't know if that's gonna hold but at least we can set our stop we can set our stop on Monday we don't want to go below 68 so if we can catch this stock on Monday in that area and put our stop we are looking at the movement of if we go to the uh, and also I'm looking at the three 30 days movement so we are looking 450 here and also the uh, 420 as I mentioned earlier so if we go to that stock here our resistance would be right here where the stock started to break down so for somewhere here but we have room to 450 so I think for those who want to trade this we find a stock that we can have some levels and we created that area for ourselves and now we have a plan if you could catch this area and run this area up to where the resistance is we have a few levels here first level is 420 and 
we can always go partial and get out, uh, get out half of position or one third of position or two third of position depending on and then we can run it out up to 475 so that's the area I would suggest for ourselves if we want to take a position and hopefully uh, there's going to be some news uh, actually this is interesting because Monday it's going to be earning right so you can always have this on your watch list if the earning comes up good we are good to go if the earning comes bad at least this is a catalyst and then we can trade it based on our levels so i hope you guys uh, kind of learned how what we're looking at and hopefully is something that you can use and uh, benefit from this movement as I said sometimes you miss the party and here you go this is the beginning of the party hoping the earning comes out good at least one thing I always suggest do not hold stocks during the earning at least not before earning always wait for the earning to happen because that's the biggest catalyst and it might uh, shake you up or uh, goes against you so we have the area of support we 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 mark our area of resistance and for those who are liking breakout uh, strategy you can always watch it after four and you have this much run to go with and hopefully you catch at least one of those this is in my watch list now I will be watching this closely on Monday and I am for sure going to trade it because of the catalyst as well as being in oversold territory so like always if you like that video uh, i appreciate if you could share and like the video and also subscribe from to my channels for a video like this let me know if you have any question uh, i actually like uh, finbiz as i said uh, it's a very good website to get a lot of information for free for those who don't use paid service so uh, as usual i hope uh, you enjoyed the trading day and good luck and see you in my next video thanks guys